Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we'll learn how to use the Jupyter Notebook in Windows 10. So the topics that we will cover are as follows. Uh, we'll learn about the Jupyter Notebook shortcut for cell operations followed by the importance of code, header and markdown and how to cut traverse from code to, head, to markdown and header and uh, the importance of the cell color following by shutting down and restart which is like uh, a different in the Jupyter Notebook. So let's start. Uh, what I have done, I've already opened my Jupyter Notebook to save time. Okay. So this is my Jupyter Notebook. How to use Jupyter Notebook is the name. First, I prefer, first what I will do, I will just do one addition okay uh, if i press control enter then my cell is executed okay and uh, if i want to use a new cell i press this plus button and the new cell is created and if you want to delete it you can again press this i don't want to use the button again and again so instead of using this uh, button you can just use instead of control enter you can press shift enter so the cell will be executed followed by the new cell at the bottom okay so that is like in, uh, for executing the cell you can use control enter and if you want to create a new cell after that you can press shift enter now suppose if i say this is my this is a code okay because you can see this is in the format of code now this is in the format of code if you want to convert it to markdown okay and now ex ex execute it by pressing shift enter so this is con converted into your header or something like that. Again, you double click on this and you convert this into header. See, the number of hash present at the beginning, it changes the size of your text here. Now this is a proper header. So that is all, is all about the code header and the markdown. If you want to move this cell up, okay, you can press up or you can press bottom. Again, you can press up. Let's make it to the top. Okay, if I say x is equals to 5, x is equal to 5 now let's uh, let's read about uh, like what i have asked uh, the importance of the cell color okay see currently the cell color the the margin and the border is in green color so this is in the edit mode in jupyter notebook we have two modes the edit mode and the command mode when we execute this okay this is in the edit mode we cannot execute it in the command mode so once you click outside of this here near to this margin now it is converted into command mode you press enter again you will be in the edit mode so when you are in the edit mode press escape you will be in command mode and then you press enter you will be in the edit mode again i will say once more when you are in the edit mode when this is all green you press escape now this is blue here and the and the margin is uh, gray so now you are in command mode so this is all about the colors, edit mode and the command mode. Now we'll work with the shortcuts, how the shortcuts will apply. So suppose we are here, if you press escape B, then a cell is created below this cell. And if you create, now again take, we go to the same uh, cell and if you get, press escape A, then a new cell is created before this. If you press, we will say here, Y is equals to 6. Now you escape X, control X we do right in normal uh, like when we work with Word or with uh, Notepad or any Excel. So escape X and you press here, take your cursor here and press escape, control C, control V, so escape C, escape, escape X, escape V. So my Y value of Y is 6 here, okay. Now if I want to delete, if I want to delete then you have to press escape DD, escape again. DD twice DD you have to press like this escape plus DD so escape plus DD so this is also deleted now if you can see my uh, this is in the code format right if you want to convert it to a markdown you have to just go to markdown it is converted so again so instead of this what you do escape Y it has moved to code and again if you press escape and it is into markdown you can see here right now we are here, we press escape Y, it is changed in the code format and again if we press M, it is changed into the markdown format. If you want to know all the shortcuts of Jupyter Notebook for the command line and the uh, for the for the command mode and the edit mode, we will go here, keyboard shortcut, either you can go by this or you press escape H you have the list of the shortcuts for both the command modes and the edit mode. Now what I will do, I will delete everything 
and I'll just show you the how why why I, I mentioned here shutdown and the rest. I have covered all the three topics. Okay, so so what I'll say I'll say x is equal to five and y is equal to ten. I'll execute this. Then I will print x plus y. Then I'll print x plus y. The value of y is ten. What I will do again? I'll make the value change the value x is equals to 50 and I'll go and execute this. Okay, Control Enter. So now the value of x and y is 60. Again, what I'll do? I will comment this and then execute this. Okay, I'll comment only x, not y. And execute this again what I'll do I'll comment y also I'll save this so you can understand right even we have commented the initial values of x and y okay it is able to print so what I will do now I will go and shut down this Jupyter notebook I'll go here it is running one instance is running I'll close this and then I'll come here so what I have done I have restarted my Jupyter notebook and I'll go to the folder and then I will open the same uh, instance of uh, Jupyter notebook now if I execute this program now whether this will run restart and run all because the value of x and y is not there at all if I execute this now so this is what I wanted to show you okay first when you when you are uh, uh, defining a variable that is fine when you have initiated the value of a variable and then uh, in the later flow when you update the value of that variable with other values you can comment them and then still it will work so that is the intention of showing uh, restarting and showing you this so in this session we are, i have covered the jupyter notebook shortcuts the importance of code header and markdown and also the importance of cell color and the, also shown you how to shut down and restart like with a specific uh, uh, intent so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also please help me by referring my videos to your friend so uh, uh, so also please note like uh, f for this entire month i will be coming up uh, i will be uh, posting my videos or publishing my videos on a daily basis and for uh, this entire week i'll be creating videos on kfold uh, cross validation that will be where i'll use the grid search randomized search to show you exactly like uh, uh, instead of the traditional validation how we can use the best parameter or the optimized parameter so I'm excited to post the videos on this topic. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.